Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Casual706 here, back with another Transformers unboxing slash review. Today I'm covering Transformers, Prime Wars, Deluxe Class, Blast Off. Now real quick backstory on this guy, Hasbro Takara actually released the Combaticons uh, probably about two years ago in the Combiner Wars series. They gave us a Blast Off, but with the Blast Off he was actually an airplane. Now, if you're a G1 fan, the G1 Blastoff was actually a space shuttle. So there was a little discontent with getting Blastoff as an airplane for the Combaticons. Now, this just has Bro Takara's way of getting extra money, I believe. Uh, with most of the Combiner Wars figures, they released one limb that was kind of off. And then through exclusive means later, you were able to obtain the proper limb for the Combiner. So that's kind of what they did in this case. They gave us the airplane the first go around, then they put a premium price tag on it, made it an Amazon Prime exclusive, and released it here for us now so that we can have the proper combiner. Alright, so taking a quick look at the packaging, the packaging is kind of dinged up. This shipment didn't do so well, it was just in an envelope with bubble wrap. So this box got kind of dinged up, but it's got kind of a book vibe going on here. You got a artwork of Blastoff in his shuttle mode right on the front there. And what it does is it's got a little panel. You can open up this panel here and it reveals the toy inside. Now there's a little saying over here on this left side. It says, courage is stronger when combined. And they have that in four different languages. Now right underneath that it says, in Combiner Wars, teams of Autobots and Decepticons combine and form giant super robots called Combiners and battle with the fate of the universe in the balance. And they have that in four different languages. Now the front of the package, not much to see. You got the Transformers logo going up the right side of the package, the Generations logo in the top right hand corner, and Combiner Wars down at the bottom of the package. Now right here we have Megatronus. Now there is another Megatronus that you can pick up. Now I'm actually going to be doing a review for that on my channel soon, so you guys be sure to check that out. But you get another version of Megatronus there. He's kind of slightly different colored, more like a G1 kind of Megatron, I guess. All right, now on the side of the package here, you have Blastoff in his robot mode, and it has Transformers Combiner Wars underneath that. And then around to the back of the package here, it says it's going to take about 15 steps to change Blastoff from his robot to his space shuttle mode and vice versa. Then right here we've got a product placement shot for Megatronus which is included with the toy and just says Dark Warrior in four different languages. We also have a real quick bio in the top left hand corner. The bio reads, Decepticon Blastoff is perfectly happy blasting those inferior Autobots from the depths of space or on the surface of a planet. He combines with his fellow Combaticons to form the Mighty Bruticus. Alright, so since we took a look at the packaging, we're going to go ahead and bust this open and get to the good part. Alright, so out of the packaging, no collector's card with this guy. Uh, some of the Power of the Primes figures and Combiner Wars figures had little collectible cards. We don't get one with this guy. I'm not sure why Hasbro is not doing the art cards anymore, but no big loss, it's all good. Uh, we do also get instructions. Uh, these instructions are a little bit different from the typical instructions we've been getting lately. They're a little more glossy. Uh, the instructions are dual sided, showing how to change him from his robot to space shuttle mode and vice versa. And it's also showing how you're going to make him a limb for the combiner Bruticus or whichever combiner you choose to combine him with. Alright, now real quick. You do get the little Megatronus figure here. So I figured I'd bring that in a little bit closer for you to take a look at. Uh, this is the Megatronus figure. He's just got some translucent pink plastic, kind of. Uh, black face sculpt, black and gray on the other areas of the figure here. And that's what you get with that. Now, articulation with these little dudes, you uh, just get the arms have motion. You can get the arms all the way up over the head like that, uh, forward like that. And then you got a pin down at the the hips and at the knees so you'll be able to kind of get some seating poses out of the guy like that so that's what's up with Megatronus now there's no actual way to combine this with the figure it's just kind of like a little added perk since they're on the power of the prime series so that's the way you pick up this figure is to get him 
this little power master thingy and I'll do like this so we can see him from the front here a little bit better and that's basically going to cover Megatron there isn't a whole lot to these guys they're so tiny not really much going on so tuck that off to the side now looking at the actual blast off figure here real nice glossy black paint down at the bottom here brown I thought these were going to be stickers from what I saw on the internet, but they're actually painted on to the figure. Did a good job with the chest, a lot of detail to it. Arms look pretty nice. He's got little blasters connected to the arms there. Around to the back of the figure here, that's how that looks here. Now I believe the Takara version was actually built the other way around here. You were supposed to swivel the waist like that. And then, uh, let's see, the little space shuttle thing here. Yep, like that. And then you bring that down to the front here. And this is kind of how the Takara version was. They had it like this, facing this direction here. It looks kind of kind of weird. I think to properly do it, I'd have to pop these arms off and switch them around. But this is kind of how Takara had their their version going on like this. Now, I'm actually really happy that Hasbro did this and made it the other way around because this looks more like the G1 blast off, kind of like that. Now, uh, back here, of course, if you didn't like the tip of the space shuttle, you can tuck it down in there. If I was to display him in robot mode, this is how I would do it. Now articulation with this guy, he's got uh, ball joints at the arm, so you'll be able to get a full rotation out of both of those arms. Uh, at the bicep here is a little swivel point, so you'll be able to rotate that all the way around. And then he's going to, of course, have the elbow joint right there. Now down at the legs, ball joints, so uh, you'll be able to get some high kicks forward, high kicks backwards, as well as kind of getting some kicks outward here like that. At the uh, thigh section, he's got a little swivel point on both of those legs, and he's also got that knee joint. Super hollow on the inside here, but it's kind of needed to, for transformation because the legs collapse onto themselves. And bring them a little bit closer so you can see the head sculpt here. Uh, these are not piped eyes or anything like that. They're just like a purpley painted eye, kind of purple chrome. So that's what's up with that. All right, now he comes packaged with a couple of little weapons here. Uh, this one right here is very reminiscent of the G1 Blaster, if my memory serves me correct. Now the way to display the weapons, if you want to, you just take it and stick it into his hand like that. So he's got a nice little blaster. Now he's also got the little foot hand thing right here. And if you wanted to, you could kind of display this as a weapon. Uh, and the way we would do so, would be the little thruster right here. If you want to, you could just kind of peg it into that. So uh, it's kind of heavy. He's not really able to hold it very well, but if you wanted to, you could display it in his hand like that. So that's your methods for displaying weapons in the bot mode. Now to transform this guy into the space shuttle, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get these arms out of the way first of all. I'm gonna take these legs, they're gonna kind of collapse onto themselves here like that. And do the same thing with that other leg and just kind of bring it up and collapse it onto itself. You got some tabs on the inside of the legs right here. So you just kind of tab them together. We'll go ahead and pull these uh, little thrusters out back here. And uh, let's see, yep. Thrusters kind of go up on the back of the, back of the space shuttle mode there. Then that center wing, mine is kind of having trouble there we go. Give her a good squeeze together here. These uh, two wings back here pegged together to make the center fin for the space shuttle. I'm going to fold these two wings down right here. The arms are just going to kind of go across the back here. You got, uh, should be, yeah, there's a tab right here. So you're going to be able to kind of push that arm down and catch it into the side right above the wing on the space shuttle there. And he's got thrusters on his arm like that. Then you're going to do the same thing with that other arm. Just bring it down, peg it into the side here. Yep, just like that. 
and uh, flip the head around though so we won't see the, the head on the bottom of the space shuttle mode. We bring the cockpit of the space shuttle up there and voila, we have the uh, space shuttle mode for blast off. Real, real nice job with that. Again, you got that high gloss black paint on the wings there. Nice Decepticon symbols painted in, purple and black there. Uh, you got another Decepticon symbol up at the top here. Three little light bars above the space shuttle cockpit, kind of. Decepticon symbol on the tail wing there. Bottom of the figure is obvious that it's a robot kind of hiding in there, but not too bad. This is real super hollow, but that's needed for all the transformation. So that's what's up with the space shuttle mode. Can't complain with it. I like it. And this will be a proper combiner for my Bruticus now. So excited to have them. All right, now displaying weapons on the spaceship mode here. If you want to, you got pegs kind of everywhere. You can take a little hand shield, put it up on top here. There's another peg on the bottom of that. So if you wanted to, you could put the blaster on top there. Uh, also some peg holes on the arm here. If you want to take his little blaster, put them on, on the side there like that. That's an option. Uh, that's... You can do that on either one of the arms. If you don't want to do the little foot peg thing, you can just straight put the blaster on top of the space shuttle like that. Uh, also, there's another little point right up underneath the, the space shuttle cockpit here. I don't believe you're really going to be able to point it out in front of the space shuttle there, but you can kind of put it in underneath here facing backwards. And it almost kind of doubles as landing gear. There's like a little round round little nub there. It's not a rollable wheel, but uh, if you look back here, you got some similar things right there. So it just kind of looks like a, like the landing gear for the space shuttle maybe. So I guess if I had uh, one other request from Hasbro, if they did like a G2 one and made it white and black, I always thought brown and brown and purple was kind of weird for a space shuttle. I'd like to have one more NASA based, I guess, with the black and white. So I think it would be cool if Hasbro did another one of these. I wouldn't have a problem purchasing another one of these at the same price or close to the same price if it was black and white. So I think even with my G1 uh, Bruticus, I kind of use the the G2 one uh, for display because of the black and white shuttle kind of made more sense. It looked more realistic to me. But I can't complain. I like this guy. I think it's really cool. It's nice to have a different mold uh, from the Combiner Wars series and it's a hell of a lot cheaper than buying the Takara one. So that's what's up with that. Now to turn this guy into his limb modes for the leg is going to be pretty easy. We're uh, I guess we'll just fold these wings back here and we're going to take these little thrusters and put them to the back here and you just get the little flat peg right down there. So you take that little peg and you can put your foot piece on there. If you want to, you could go facing this way or this way. I think it'd probably be better going that way. And we take this little spaceship cockpit, fold it down, keep the, uh, Keep the head kind of out of the way. Whoop. Fold these out to the side, make room for it. So it's like that. Then you take a little combiner port and just grab this right here, flip it up. So that's how you're gonna do the, the leg mode for a Bruticus or whichever combiner you choose to do. It's like that. And like I said, if you wanted to, you could go forward or backward with it. You could do it like that if you wanted to. So that's what's up with the leg mode. Now for the arm mode, super easy. Just gonna pull that little connector port out to the side. I'm gonna move these arms out of the way here. Just kind of flipping them back like that out of the way. Same thing with that other arm. I'm just gonna swivel it around, use that elbow joint to kind of fold it up and out of the way. Then these legs, we're gonna go ahead and open those legs up, bring them down like we're going into the robot mode here. And we're gonna re-tab them back together. Then, yep, all like that. Then I think we're gonna, we'd move the wings 
back this way if we're going to do the hand mode and then you grab you got to kind of play with this here grab that get the hand to pull out pull that thumb around to the front like that so that's what you would get there in the arm mode for bruticus or whichever combiner then we got to play with the bottom so we get our little elbow joint out of the combiner there we go yep so there you go and then you turn the hand sideways so that's actually what it looked like in the arm mode for a combiner so just like that all right so that would conclude my unboxing slash review for transformers prime wars deluxe class blast off if you guys like the video be sure to click the like button also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on any transformer unboxings or cool videos in the near future and please leave me a comment it's always a lot more fun to do these things when people are leaving you feedback and giving comments on the videos so leave me some comments. I'm interested in meeting you guys and talking with you. All right, so with all the plugs out of the way, appreciate the view again, guys. Casual 706, out.